What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, I'll be talking about how to tip or perform a cut shot or a roll shot. And this video was suggested by Gur King, so thank you so much for this video suggestion. Before you continue watching this video, make sure that you watch my video about having proper spiking footwork. And you can click the video link in the video description below, or you can click on the video link up here. The second video you need to watch before you continue watching this video is to have proper arm swing mechanics and you can click that video link in the description below or click on the video link up here. The reason why it's important to have proper spiking footwork and good arm swing mechanics because tipping and roll shotting is based off of those fundamental techniques. You need to make sure that your spiking approach looks the same every time and that your arm swing looks the same every time because tipping and roll shotting is more about deception and that's why that is successful. To prove that point, a hard driven spike stays in the air for about half a second from the moment that the spiker contacts the ball to when it hits the floor. Compare that to a tip or a roll shot which stays in the air for about two seconds. So why is it that some defenders have trouble digging a tip or a roll shot even though it stays in the air about four times as long? The reason is, in order to execute an effective tip or a roll shot, you need to be deceptive. So that's the first rule. The second aspect of executing an effective tip or cut shot is the height. You don't want to give your defenders too much time to chase down the ball. So the ball needs to be placed just above the blocker's hands as the ball is falling down with them. The third aspect of executing a successful roll shot or tip is ball placement. The most effective way to score a point in volleyball is to place the ball where the defenders are not. And I know that sounds very obvious, but sometimes as spikers, we can get caught in the rhythm of just hitting hard and hard and right where we're facing, and as a result, the defender can read us and they don't have to do too much work to dig us. Whereas we change direction or make them move, then we decrease their chance of controlling the ball because then they have to move or change direction, which lowers their passing efficiency. Just to review what I've just talked about, the three aspects of executing an effective tip or roll shot is deception, height, and ball placement. Now we'll talk about how to perform the actual motion of a tip or a cut shot. When you're tipping the ball, there are several hand formations that you can experiment with. There's the three finger tip, the five finger tip. Some people use the knuckle, but that's mainly in beach volleyball because you cannot open hand tip. I preferably like the three finger tip where my ring finger and my pinky finger create a cushion to sit nicely in this little basket that I created for the ball. A good way to practice and to figure out what hand formation works for you is to toss the ball up to yourself and just tip it over and over again with different hand formations and see which one feels like you have the most control with. Also make sure that when you're tipping that you're contacting the ball with your fingerprints, not your fingertips. If you contact the ball with your fingertips like this, you will jam your fingers. So you need to curl your fingers back so they contact on the pads of your fingers. The tip actually starts with your approach. You want to make sure that you go hard into your spiking approach because you're trying to sell the tip. You're trying to make the defenders think that you're going to spike hard because your approach is going to look the same every single time. So once I go through my approach, and I bring my arms up into my attack or my Zeus position like I'm about to spike. Then at the last second, I'm going to straighten my arm and place my hands just under the ball so that the ball goes over the block and slightly forward. If the block is a little bit bigger, you need to make sure that you follow through a little bit more before the ball goes forward. Common mistake that people make is that when they tip, they go straight into the block instead of tipping under the ball so that the ball goes up first before it goes over. Obviously, if the block is smaller, then you could tip forward, which means the ball will fall to the ground faster. A good exercise to perform on your own to practice tipping is just to toss the ball nice and high in the air and you're gonna sell the tip. So I'm gonna bring my arms back in the Zeus position and the last second, I'm gonna slow my arm down 
and make sure I'm practicing tipping over the block and I leave my hand out there and I call this position the Statue of Liberty. Straight elbow follow through just enough to push the ball over the block. Another type of tip is to tip around the block, and that's a little bit riskier move. But the way you do that is you have to point forward and around. So wherever I follow through and point towards, that's where the ball is going to go. So if I want to tip the ball around the block, then I just have to point in that direction. Here are a couple in-game examples of tipping the ball with deception. So make sure that you set them up first with a hard swing to convince the defenders that you're going to spike the ball hard. Then at the last second, you execute the tip. Good disguise, wasn't it, on that? Looked like it was going to be... That's really good disguise, wasn't it, on that? Looked like it was... Performing the cut shot follows the same principles of the tip. It starts back here, and then as I'm about to execute the roll shot, then I slow down my arm swing, and based on how big the block is, if I'm reaching above the block, then I fall through forward and I slow down my arm swing. I'm kind of curling over the ball to create extra top spin. If I have the roll shot above the ball, then I contact the ball slightly under the ball and I still follow through with a slower arm swing because if I push it too deep or I swing too fast, then the ball is going to drive forward. The shorter you want the ball to drop, the less forward I should be following through and I should not be swinging as fast. A good drill to practice your roll shot or cut shot is to toss the ball in the air Put your arm back in a Zeus position, and then execute the roll shot. The same principle for aiming a roll shot is the same as the tip. Wherever I follow through and point to, that's where the ball is going to go. Here are a couple in-game examples of an effective roll shot. United States not sharp. And they're paying the price. United States not sharp. And they're paying the price. points to take the 10 to 8 lead and a timeout called by the United States.
thanks so much for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share it with all your volleyball friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel where I'll be releasing weekly volleyball tutorial videos just like this one. Also, if you have any other suggestions regarding volleyball, athletic training, or fitness, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.